I'm here with MSUB senior Robert Peterson. Robert, you're getting ready to return to the national meet um, this week in Pittsburgh, Kansas. I understand you've never been to Kansas before, so I'm sure you're really excited. Yeah. Let's start with the uh, season first. Um, you didn't start out with some of your best times in the mile, but you've definitely come on strong at the end of the season. Was that part of your strategy, or did you just um, start to really hit your stride at the right time? Um, yeah, I, I really try to, like, peak towards the end of my season. Um, it also was kind of a different season for us to be with. I wasn't able to run my two main events, the mile and 3K, just kind of how the meet schedules work as much as I would like this year. So, uh yeah, towards conference, I was like really like anxious to go after it. And you mentioned it, very exciting race at the conference uh, championships. You edged out in a photo finish for the reclaim the conference title. Uh, why don't you talk about that race and uh, what it means in terms of momentum for you? Oh, yeah, it really kind of built confidence. Um, having that competition too and being able to race against him. Uh, David is just a phenomenal miler. Um, and so just having him push me and having us both, like making the nationals, I think is going to help both of us. And then you went back out to the West the following week, um, participated in a race in Seattle, um, took third in that, but again, some great competition. Why don't you talk about how um, that is going to help you on your way to nationals? Um, so yeah, after like conference, uh, I, uh, well, I did four races in conference. So I, doing what I accomplished at conference, I knew when I went to Seattle, Knowing that is a fast track and knowing what I did before, I knew I could focus all that on the mile. And so I knew I could get a qualifying time. Um, and so once I accomplished that, like, I, f I just felt phenomenal. And I, I personally felt like I could have ran like a little bit faster. So I so have that final gear. I'm saving for nationals and see what could happen. Uh, last year you went to nationals, and there are two heats at nationals. And, um you were seventh in your heat, so you missed out by one spot. But talk about what that experience taught you and how you can use that this time around. Yeah, I think just knowing how the meet works and, like, the competition is going to help a lot. Um, and then I, I feel like I have a big edge over last year because last year I, I, did, I, I did get injured right before the meet. And so maybe physically it didn't affect me as much because I still had my endurance, but I think mentally that came a lot in play. And this year, I'm, I'm feeling mentally strong, physically strong, and I'm super confident where I can go out and possibly break into the school record and hopefully become first-class All-American. And we were just chatting about it. Uh, you know a lot of these runners, even though they're not uh, in the GNAC. Why don't you talk about being able to see them? Um, you, you, you're familiar with the competition, you know, what that means when you get to a national competition. Yeah, I feel like knowing them and, like, knowing how some of them race and, like, Kind of even like the friendships we made, like I feel like it's just going to be a pretty cool dynamic and like really fun event. Um, people like Alec Baldwin, I'm pretty good friends with, and then uh, Ben Vaughn, I ran against him in high school. So it would be really cool seeing some of those people I haven't ran against in a while, but made pretty good friendships in the past years. So. And what are some of the things you're looking forward to a national meet? There must be some things that you can go watch and some things that you can do. What are some of the advantages and some of the fun things that you want to do? Um, well, they always have the little committee thing. Uh, everybody dresses up and every, there's like a bunch of snack foods and stuff. And it's just a pretty cool get together thing. And all the, they have these get together rooms where athletes kind of hang out. And it's just really cool talking to all these fast athletes from all over the country and making like friendships that last like a lifetime. And uh, you're a Billings native, graduate of Skyview High School. Why don't you talk about what it means to you to be able to represent MSUB and Yellow Jacket? Uh, it really means a lot. I mean, this is my hometown, my home college. Um, I've been here for 23 years now, so it means a lot to me that I can represent the people that have supported me all these years. And uh, will your family be attending the event? Yes, they have. Um, my dad and my mom are actually driving. My dad actually just had surgery, so he can't fly. So he's, he's like, I'm not going to miss this meet. So they're driving the 17 hours or whatever it is to go see me run. And I think my girlfriend and her grandma are going to go visit me too. So a lot of support. Well, that's great. Good luck, Robert. Thank you.
Dave, you and Robert Peterson are getting ready to head back to the national meet. Uh, this year it's in Pittsburgh, Kansas. Um, Robert Peterson has qualified in the mile. Why don't you talk about the general season first and, and kind of what your expectations were of Robert? Yeah, well, you know, the, the season started out a little slow, I think, for us, and there, and there weren't a lot of good opportunities to run the mile. Um, he didn't run the first meet over at Black Hill State in December because we still wanted to recover from cross country and, you know, catch up with school and everything. And so the next meet isn't until January, it was like early January, and um, uh, that was at MSU, and they didn't have a mile. They just ran a distance medley, and then so he ran the 5,000 there. And then uh, our, our next meet, we had uh, transportation problems, you know, with, we had a little bus breakdown and part of the team was able to go. And so that was the other opportunity to run the mile, but I just don't think it was, the conditions just weren't right after, you know, being crammed in a car and, you know, with, uh, riding with the parents out there. And it, was, it wasn't ideal conditions. Uh, the next opportunity was uh, uh, not really until conference because at Idaho State, we wanted to run a, good uh, distance medley time and then try the 3k uh, the next day and we had some problems there with shoes you know so um, it just it just wasn't happening so we had to wait for conference to come around to get a good mile time so well you must have been proud of him because he yeah. came out um, came down the stretch and went through and in a photo finish reclaimed the title um, I know he's been working really hard this season why don't you talk about what that race meant for the program and for him well, yeah, winning a conference championship is great for the school. Um, I mean, that's what we want to do. We don't have the depth on the team to go after a conference team title, but it's always good. You know, it's still an individual sport, and, um, you know, to win a conference championship both in the mile and the distance medley. So I was really, you know, I was really proud of those distance medley guys because uh, they really uh, did a good job this year, and, and, and they qualified for nationals as well, you know, and so I, I really don't want to forget about them. Um, they ended up ranked 25th after uh, you know the declared athlete, declared teams and everything for nationals. So they were 25th in the nation. So um, they were probably about five or six seconds from making the uh, cut. You know, so I, I was just really proud of that whole middle distance group. You know, and of course the mile. You know that that is kind of a glamour event. You know, um, there was a lot of. Uh, there was a lot of interest in it, you know, at the meet, you know, the spectators were, you know, really cheering everybody on and it was, it was a lot of fun and, and it was a pretty exciting race. So, and I knew that go, moving ahead that, that the time that he ran at uh, conference probably, we you know, wouldn't get him into the, fi in, into the final cut for nationals. We could declare him, but it would, he wouldn't have made it. So that's why we had to do a, one more meet out in Seattle and we knew there was going to be there would be some fast runners out there, and so they had they had a couple of pro guys and and uh, some good other runners from the conference, and so it was set up really nice. So based on Bob's sixteen hundred meter split at conference in the in the uh, distance medley, you know, which was four oh seven, I knew he could run a four oh seven on that big track at at Dempsey. That's a that's a pretty easy place to run relatively. So this year you'll be returning to the national meet. This, like I said, it'll be in Kansas this year. Why don't you talk about your experience last year and how that's going to help you this year when you return? Well, anytime you go to a national meet like that, if, uh, it, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on. It's real exciting. There's, you know, good athletes from all over the country, you know, great athletes from all over the country, and it's kind of overwhelming at first. And this is so. This is our third nationals. Well, this is my fifth nationals. But uh, his third, because we went for cross country and then indoor last year too, and um, just getting, just kind of getting your head around all that, uh, you know, that environment. Um, it, it's good to know what to expect there. And uh, now we know how the heats are going to go. And you know, he's he's going to be in the in the first heat, and um, you can't you really can't uh, take it for granted that you're going to make the final. You really he's really going to have to work in that that first heat to, to advance. So the first three in each heat, and then the next uh, three fastest will advance. So um, you don't want to go through in a, in a slow heat. You know, we're going to have to either take the race over right from the start if no one's willing to go out, or um, you know, hopefully there's some guys that'll you know, push it out there. Um, so yeah, that, that experience from last year really helped. And maybe to finish up, why don't you talk about how, what Robert has meant to the program so far and, you know, what you'd like to see him come away with? Well, of course, 
you know, making the finals. I think if, if he makes the finals, I have no doubt he'll make All-American, you know, top eight, first team. Uh, it, a lot can happen in those finals, and um, everybody, I think, I think it kind of evens things out when everybody, you know, is, is running that final. And, and a lot of the guys in that, in that whole field uh, are running other races, too. So they're going to have, there's eight, I think there's eight guys in the field that are running uh, either the DMR, distance medley, or the 3,000 meters. And they're either going to be saving themselves or they're going to be coming off two races on Friday. So I think he can push as hard as he wants on Friday. And I think he has such a good endurance base. It's what we, we really work on our endurance here. And I don't know if a lot of schools do. I know some do. But um, there's a lot of guys that are just mainly kind of speed runners out there. And I, I think that endurance is going to be a big factor when you have to go through prelims and, and finals. So as far as what it means to the program, um, you know, going to nationals is great for us because we get a lot of notoriety. I mean, you'll have high school kids out there, your recruits that'll look at the results and see MSU Billings in there. Um, you know, there's only um, you know there's only 17 um, runners in that in that field from the from the whole country. And um, uh, we I looked at it today. There's 11 uh, schools represented in that mile field out of the GNAC or the RMAC. So, you know, between our two conferences, we've got the, probably the best distance runners in the country. So this is, a, this is a, you know, a real select field out there, but it definitely helps our program. And, and what it does is it makes you set your sights higher. You know, I think before we start going to nationals, um, you know, we, we want to do well in conference, but, you know, it, it changes your perspective a lot when you see those runners, you know, because I'll go, I'll think, uh, oh, he only ran 412 this week or something, you know. And, I would have never said that a few years ago. I would have gone crazy if someone ran a 412 mile. But and I think Bob feels the same way. 412, eh, you know, it's kind of be kind of mediocre. But that's just how it is when you get up on that national level. You know, your your expectations change, and I think it's changed the team too. The the team sees a new level they have to attain. So I think it just just helps us all around. Well, thanks, Coach, and and good luck to you guys. Thank you.